The reason I said my intro silently was because we are touching on a very touchy subject today. YouTube pregnancies. YouTube pregnancies. YouTube babies. Let's just call them YouTube babies. They are the bane of my existence. I think they're the bane of everybody's existence, and I don't even know what bane of existence means, but I think bane of existence means, like, I really hate that. The reason I'm holding it like this is because this has been you. <laughs> Thankfully, the person who took this was not pregnant. <laughs> Thank God. YouTube pregnancies is a subject that is fresh to this earth. Wait, I'm trying to sound smart. YouTube pregnancies is something that is new to this world. They haven't always been around. Now, let me explain. YouTubers need what, you may ask? Content. And what can give you a lifetime supply of content? Baby! Have a baby! It's the first thing to cross your mind. I need content. I need it fast. I need it long. Baby time, make a baby. Making a baby is easy. Making a baby is fun. Making a baby, you're making a baby. You've made a baby. Here's the million views. You've seen them all. You've seen them all. The only person I don't have beef with, but <laughs> the only person I don't have beef with is Colleen Ballinger. I love you, Colleen Ballinger. I would give my life to you. I love you, baby. <laughs> We've seen all these family vloggers have their babies, have their fair share of fame, money, success. Due to what? A human life form. Where am I going with this? I see a spider! Ah! Oh my god, I'm not actually lying, there's actually a spider. And that is a perfect example. Having a baby is like a spider. You know, when you go to kill a spider, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if it's gonna jump. You don't know if it's gonna have a million babies. Exactly. You don't know what's gonna happen when you have a baby. It's unpredictable. But these family vloggers, they don't see a baby. They don't see a lifelong relationship. They don't see what it means to have a baby. They see a dollar sign, dollar sign, check, check, check. Buy my merch in the description below. They see money bags. And look, I can't blame them. Nobody can blame them. I'm asking the age old question. Would you have a baby for a little bit of Google AdSense? And not just a little bit, okay? Would you do it? Would you do it? Be honest with yourself. Think, think your whole life. You've assumed that you are a good person with, with strong, unbreakable morals. But when the question has been asked, would you have a baby for content? What would you do? Have the baby, get the clout, have the money, get the subscribers, have those views, or not have a baby, and be left, and be left alone. What would you do? It's a pretty simple question that I am going to answer. I would have a baby. Now, the reason I say that is because I hate being broke. I hate being broke. And if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. I haven't even explained why I've gotten into this. This might seem completely random, but you've seen it! You've seen the family vloggers on the trending page, popping out babies left and right, coochie here, coochie there, boy or girl. What is the truth? You guys are in love. Oh, you guys are not in love, you, you know it. They just need something to talk about for nine months. Because once that baby is born, it's over. Pop out another one, pop out another one, pop out another one. When will it stop, family vloggers? The reason YouTube is going that's so crazy right now is because we have parents vlogging their children 24 hours a day. Every time I upload a video, it's like, is there minors in this video? I'm like, no, no. Look, I'll cover myself in spray paint. I'll bleach my hair. I'll wax my a-hole. But uh, no, there's not a minor in my video. And no, I'm not about to have a baby. So stop asking me these questions, YouTube. I'm following your guidelines. And I figured out they're demonetizing me because I'm calling myself a C-R-A-C-K head. Now, that word is banished. I read an article this morning about YouTubers, wait, I, this is about YouTube pregnancies. I'm not about to go off on a whole spiel, but I am though. Where's my mallet? Where is my mallet? Hello, where's my mallet? You see it, you see it every day. These YouTubers, Logan Paul, give it a minute. He's gonna knock up a hoe and have a baby and his channel's gonna be back on the rise cause of that baby, cause of that drama. Savannah and Cole, Cole and Savannah, what, Le the LeBrant family. We've all seen them. We've all binged their videos. They're cute. They're mildly entertaining, mildly. But they be popping out babies left and right. Left, right, left, 
Right, baby here, baby there. Number two on the trending page, a million views in a day at the expense of the human life form. They don't love that baby, they don't know. They don't have feelings, they are crazy. They are sociopaths and I know it. I know they're a bit cringy and crazy, but I was obsessed. Why? Because they were putting on a facade. That's right, people. I feel like Trisha Paytas right now, but they were putting on a facade for you to enjoy and to you to just eat up. It's not real. That baby is not a baby in their eyes. That baby is a thumbnail baby. That's what I'm saying. Oh, if your parents are family vloggers, God bless your soul. I have a thumbnail baby of myself and it's Kyle. <laughs> I do have a bias, I love Roman Outwood. I really do, I love his family, I love their content, I genuinely do. They might be the worst, I don't know. We don't know what goes on behind the camera, but I love them so much, so I'm not gonna say nothing about them. I love you, God bless your family, I love you and I wish the best for you. Smile more, hunty. Back to the LeBran family. I've had so much to say about them since I saw him on Vine. That's right, Cole, he was on Vine. I bet some of you little kids don't remember, but he was stripping with his clothes off. And now he's popping out babies. He has a baby. I don't know how much the money they're making. Have you seen their house tour? If I had a house like that, yes, I would be having babies every night. Tana Mojo and Jake Paul. Pretending they're having babies. Pretending they're having babies for what? Content, thumbnail baby. This little thing right here. Did me and Jake Paul make a baby? That's the last thing you want, a baby with Jake Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> I, God bless the soul of his future child. You know what, I go ahead and I'm gonna start a petition to say, Jake Paul, I'm gonna start a petition to snip his ball. Same for Tana. I have no legal authority. I'm just gonna say I have no legal authority and these words that I say in my videos, don't take them seriously. But what you do need to take seriously is that baby that you're gonna have. Who, <gasps> oh, the Ace family. Oh! Family, labor, and delivery. Mommy and daughter surprise daddy with pregnancy announcement. She's finally here. Everyone meet our new princess. My water broke on husband. Must watch his reaction. What do I have to say? This fickable. Those kids, they're gonna grow up and be embarrassed about those videos and being like, Dad, why'd you film mom's coochie as I was coming out? Like, that's pretty private. But on the flip side, trust fund. <laughs> it's like yin and yang. You're gonna have to work straight out of the womb, but you will have a trust fund. Click, that's what they should name that baby, click. If an evil scientist came up to me and said, Luke, I'm going to impregnate you and you're gonna have a baby. I'm gonna say, yes ma'am, let's roll. I'm telling those family vloggers, this is real. Your YouTube channel, mm-hmm, it's gonna be trending for nine months. What are you gonna do 10 years, five years down the road? Ask yourself that. When I'm bleaching my hair, I'm gonna, I, I ask myself, I say, will this affect me in five years? Most likely but maybe not, hopefully not. But when you're having a baby for the sake of content, will this affect you in five years? Yes, this reeks of piss. And so do I. I have a prediction. I have a prediction. There's a YouTuber out there, unexpectedly is gonna have a baby. I want these family vloggers to think real hard next time they go to pee on a stick. Cause no offense, I can smell your piss from a mile away. She don't got a baby, she has chlamydia. I may not know their true intention, but I know what they're thinking. We don't have a video to post this week, Somebody's getting pregnant. What if I pointed it at the camera and it was like pregnant? Oh my god, it'd be perfect. Oh my god. I just fell for it because I would use it. I would use that as clickbait. I just exposed myself. In order to be, well, it is believed in order to be successful on YouTube, you need a niche. You need something like a continual thing that people like. For example, PewDiePie is playing Minecraft right now and his channel is the most successful it's like ever been. People who get pregnant, people who film their babies for content. It's their niche, it's what people like to see them do. I literally think the LeBrant family cut their pregnancy video into two separate videos. It's a, what? It's not a Shane Dawson documentary. It's not like you had an hour of footage, no. He had 20 minutes of footage, 10 minute here, 10 minute here. Double the AdSense. In fact, having a 10 minute video doubles your AdSense. Having two 10 minutes videos, he's quadrupled his AdSense. He may look stupid, and yes, he is stupid, but it's smart. Just imagine being born into a vlogger's family. If I was born into a vlog, <laughs> if I was, what? I dropped the pregnancy. If I was born into a vlogger family and they didn't have more than 8 million subscribers, I'd walk myself over to the adoption center. If I was born and my daddy was PewDiePie, oh, oh. You know, he's probably gonna give his channel away to his child and that's honestly such a, <gasps> oh my God. I just had a thought. 
What if in the future, YouTubers hand their channels off to their babies and it's like a generational thing and their YouTube channel's like, oh, their YouTube channel has been around for 20 years. <gasps> honestly, honestly, that is a scary thought. And you literally document your parents' life, your life, your kid's life. I don't know what's got me so hung up on the fact, but I've just seen so many thumbnails recently. It was Tana's thumbnail and the LeBrant family's thing. Just two fake pregnancies strictly just for views. YouTube, you, tube, YouTube decided to trend one of those videos. Why do they prefer that? There's people on this platform that are like putting out genuine hard work into their videos. I'm not saying me. I'm not saying me. I'm not, I don't, I'm not saying me. But there are people out there that work really hard on their videos. And I'm not one of those people, unfortunately. But there are people, there are people. And you want to utilize the trending page and put all the eyes on the LeBrant fam? <laughs> YouTube is gonna say, oh, love wins, all of this, all of that. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Here's Jake Paul. What? Remember Logan Paul? Well, we know what he filmed, and I'm not gonna say it because I don't wanna get you demonetized. We know what they say. They're rude, homophobic, transphobic. Literally, I just dropped my mallet. Literally, actually, like sociopaths. Why are you wanting to redeem these people? I'm not gonna, I'll forgive them. I'm not gonna watch them. So stop blunting them. Am I recommended? Forgive? and forget. Just like what we had to do with James Charles. We forgave, but we forgot. Not forgot what he done, forgot about him. That's what, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pop out of your mother's coochie and you see a Sony camera? Crawl right back in, brother. Just crawl right back in, no questions asked. I sound crazy, but it don't matter if the vlogs that feature your babies, if the comments are disabled. And when I say people watching, I mean like the, the people. Like, not the people, but like those people. Those people that don't know how to act around children. That's the funny part. You go on the Ace Family Snapchats, you go on all these family vloggers Snapchats, they're Snapchatting their cars, they're Snapchatting their new house that they built, they're Snapchatting everything. But you go on their YouTube channel, and their most recent video is like, speaking Spanish to my baby for 24 hours. Hold on! What? You're telling me Life With Mac, her comments are gonna get disabled because she's a minor, but he has two babies? 32,000 comments on a video that have two minors in the thumbnail. You're not gonna demonetize and trash his channel, but you will her? You know, if your videos aren't getting comments, if your videos aren't getting likes, it doesn't get views. Videos don't just get views all of a sudden, it's about the engagement. And simply, you just can't watch a YouTuber and not be able to comment and interact with them. <laughs> Why am I doing this? But it's true. Justice for Life with Mac. She was on Inside Edition. She was doing interviews. She was working with other YouTubers. Yes, she did work with Logan Paul, but like iconic. And it's hurt her channel. You can see it's affected the performance of her channel. And the LeBrant family, I don't think they have comments on their videos, but that's because that's a personal issue. They choose not to because they're crazy and they're actually problematic. I'm holding a used pregnancy test and I'm more disgusted by your actions, YouTube. You just can't prefer people. You can't prefer people. Defeats the purpose of broadcast yourself. Watch this. It's like, no, I don't want to watch that. Watch this. And they're like, no, I don't want to watch that. Watch this. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. I want to watch this. You're putting them in the recommendation boxes. You are. You're putting them on the trending page. But what are you going to do with people like Life with Mac? She has way more potential than the Ace family. Ugh. I am very, very lucky to be 19 years old and run my own YouTube channel. Because if I was any younger and they were disabling my comments, I would not stand a chance. Imagine being a lawyer, coming from a single parent, finally making it, living your best life, and Jake Paul moves into your neighborhood. The basis of this video is about what YouTube rewards, and they reward some pretty stupid she. It's just weird, but it's true. It's I'm not trying to bite the hand, well, I am biting the hand that is feeding me, Literally, quite literally feeding me attention, money. <laughs> you know, I'm saying this out of love for YouTube. I don't want anything to go wrong. I don't want anything to go badly. I don't want this to go anywhere because I love it. I feel like I spoke on a lot of touchy subjects without much knowledge or care, but that's okay because that's me and that's what I do.